Yes. The idea of I am God is something that is hard to accept sometimes. And for many reasons. It goes back into our education, for example, where we learn that God is something outside of us. It goes back through societal history and all the religions out there that tell us God is something that is outside of us. And the reason why many people frown upon somebody saying, I am God, is that it sounds like you're saying, I am God and you are not. But that is completely far away from, from what I mean when I say, I am God. And it is more a Western challenge than in Eastern societies. When you realize that you are God in India, the people around you are probably just saying, well, finally, you got it. I'm not saying the West is wrong for that. When Jesus said, I am the Father, and the Father is me, which is his way of saying, I am God. Most people heard it as, he is the chosen one, he is the Messiah. And that was what people could hear at the time. Because the time was not ready for everybody to embrace himself. But what if Jesus never meant, I am different or I am special? What if he just was saying that in order to tell you, I have discovered something about myself and I invite you to look into yourself and see if exactly the same is true for you. The statement, I am God, does not put me above anybody else. The only challenge is accepting that. And except for societal limitations, for it feels wrong or it feels like yeah, I can say that, but only when I'm alone in a room. There's also a big part why the mind does not like that statement. Like on the one hand, it might like the grandiosity of it. But the reality of the statement, I am God, is the full responsibility for everything that happens for everything that happens in my life and for everything that happens in the world. The world, the world that we live in today with all its challenges is a co-creation of all the gods that walk on this earth. And that means every conscious being. But your world or my world is completely under my control. Not control in the 3D reality sense. I cannot make anybody else do anything. I cannot make a table disappear because I want it to disappear. But all of my happiness all the states of my relationships, everything that I consider success is completely by my own choosing. There is one limitation in this reality about being God that is not completely in line with what we might 
consider it should look like when we are God. And that is, there is a time lag. The mirror reality works perfectly. We get mirrored exactly what is inside of us and we can change anything that is inside of us by choice. Sometimes it's easier with tools, but still the main tool is choice. And when we demand from ourselves to let a belief go, for example, when we ask the universe to allow us to let the belief go and we make the demand of ourselves to do and be everything that is necessary in order for that to go, it goes. The journey can be challenging. The journey can be easeful. Everything can be changed. And the reality with different beliefs shows up differently. Often, what we ask for when it shows up doesn't look the way that we thought it would show up. Look. Often, when we ask the universe for something and it shows up, it shows up differently than we thought it should show up. That doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means we have to ask more questions. We have to demand more of ourselves. Every circumstance in our life is created by us, for us, as God. Especially at the beginning of the journey, that is something that is very hard to really take into the heart. Because we like to blame others. We like to blame circumstances. We like to be the one that is not at fault. And that's not a wrongness. This is how we grew up as children. We have to behave right so that our parents love us. And when something happens that they dislike, we feel very bad. When, for example, we draw a plate and our parents are just stressed out in the moment because they really don't want to take care of the mess, when they are still have their own problems to deal with, and they think it's their responsibility to tell us that we were wrong so that we do not drop plates ever again, we feel very bad in the moment. And therefore, we don't like to be the ones that are guilty for dropping the plate. We don't like to feel guilty. And when something that we judge as bad happens, and at the same time, we have the belief that we are God, so everything is created by ourselves. We think that we have to feel guilty, but that is not the case at all. There is nothing bad that can happen. Everything happens for a reason. And when the reason is just for us to stretch our body, to clean up a plate that we dropped, so be it. On the other side, at least after a while, it often happens that circumstances just align so beautifully that the only question that we can ask is, if I was God, how would I have created it for myself? Often the, the examples are just funny coincidences, like coincidences with respect to time or just what just ever happens to turn out perfectly so that the things can move forward. And I enjoy many of those moments where I just think, thank you, universe. If I would have consciously thought about how to create this for myself, 
I couldn't have created it better. And that is when we realize we as God are playing a game. We shuffle the cards for ourselves. We always get exactly the cards that we need for us to progress perfectly in every moment. And the question is, are we willing to receive that? The good and the bad, the beautiful and the ugly, and see the gift in anything. And when we embrace that, the journey will become more and more easeful, filled with satisfaction and beautiful intensity, fulfillment and relaxation.